Hello everybody, Scott here again with the Tourist Trap. I am downtown Orlando, down here in front of the Orlando uh, the History Center. I'm going to walk around, check out some things. There's a pretty cool little globe behind me. It does look like a big gigantic Christmas ornament. Uh, I'm going to go check out a little diner downtown. It's a 24-hour diner called the Red Mug Diner. It's the only diner in downtown Orlando that serves breakfast 24-7. So I'm going to go check that out. We're going to walk around here in this little park here in front of the History Center and see what, uh, what we can see. Pretty interesting little park out here in front of the or Orange County History Center. And uh, as you can see, there's a guy riding an alligator. He is riding an alligator. And uh, there's a little placard over here and it says, it's alligator sculptures is what it is, uh, made by Craig T. Ostler. Here is another alligator sculpture right here in this park in front of the Orange County History Center. And uh, it's not a real one, it is a sculpture. And uh, what wouldn't you find but an alligator in Florida? This guy right here is coming right at you. He's coming right at us, right into his mouth. Yeah, he's ready to chop down on some some grub or some people. This is the Orange County Regional History Center. It's a museum in downtown Orlando. Uh, they do open at 10 o'clock. Uh, it's not quite 10 yet. I'm going to go over here to this Red Mug Diner and get some breakfast. Here's a pretty cool little side street with some lounges and some uh, food eating places, restaurants. There's one called uh, Hooch. It's got triple X on it. It's called Hooch. And they got the Orlando City soccer sign out here. And it's a pretty little street uh, corner here. Uh, just outside of the Orange County History Center. They're doing some high pressure washing over here of the street. There's a lot of eccentric shops downtown. Bars, restaurants. And I did find this one here called Casey's. Casey Anthony maybe? I doubt it. Looks like a, right next to Casey's here is Frosty's Christmas Time Lounge. I'm assuming this little bar, it's Christmas all the time. You can have your, your eggnog all year. I have no idea what this is. It says peek. They got some curtains up here and I don't know if you peek in there what's going to be going on. Well, here it is. The Red Mug Diner, which is open 24-7 and serves breakfast all day only diner downtown Orlando that's serving breakfast 24 7 uh, they have some specials here and it looks kind of retro -y, kind of a 50s style let's go inside and see what we can get some pretty cool looking coffee mugs that they ha have here at the red mug diner wonder how much those are and this is the red mug diner and it has a 50s look it is open 24 7 in downtown Orlando. It is a very cool looking restaurant. This place is pretty cool. There's not a lot of people in here right now. It is open 24 7 and breakfast anytime. A lot of neon lights. They even have a item on here for uh, our mayor, Mayor Buddy Dyer. It's a Mayor Buddy's Breakfast Tacos. But I think I'm going to try this old school biscuits and gravy. It says over here on this sign, eating breakfast is always excellent choice. Get it? Excellent choice. With the egg and breakfast is in the eye of the beholder. And this right here is the uh, old school biscuits and gravy. I've got the egg and the bacon and some tomatoes on there and got the biscuits and gravy and this smells incredible guys and it's a pretty big size plate here and as you can see this is a rather large diner uh, and it is located downtown uh, here in Orlando and uh, they're more busier late at night after the bars close is what they tell me this right here at the Red Mug Diner is something I had not seen before and it is a Touch Tunes, uh, Touch Tunes jukebox and you can put some money in that and play some music. It's very cool. 
And as you can tell, they do have the 50s uh, stools here right at the bar where you can set at the bar here or if you'd rather set over here in one of their large booths. Uh, bring a big group of people. Uh, definitely come hungry. And they do sell these red mug diner coffee mugs for $9.95. Definitely probably going to grab me one of these the next time I come down here. Definitely coming back. Uh, these are some pretty cool looking coffee mugs. I want one. And one of the things that is located downtown, so parking could be a problem. They do have an ATM right here at the Red Mud Diner where you can get cash, pay for that tip, pay for that parking garage, and the like. And uh, that's very, very helpful. And here in the window at this Red Mug Diner, they have some specials on Tuesday. They have an all-you-can-eat pancakes for $8.95. A Monday night is 50 cent wings. And they do have a all day, every day, four dollar call it on select liquors and uh, two for one shakes every day from three to seven. And that's right, 24 hours a day, this diner is open 24 seven. That is so awesome. Not only do they have a big uh, place to eat inside, outside of the Red Mug Diner, they do have uh, tables you can eat out here on the sidewalk in their little retro 50s tables and and uh, stools. They also have a Saturday and Sunday 10 a.m. to 5 brunch here. They do serve lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Breakfast is served 24-7 so if you want that breakfast you can get it uh, and they do have an ATM and they do have free Wi-Fi at the Red Mug Diner. Well I do have to admit I've had biscuits and gravy uh, all my life uh, but I have to admit this Biscuits and gravy was top notch. That was probably the best gravy I had, sausage gravy I have ever ate in my life. It was so good, absolutely incredible. And I wouldn't just say that uh, if it wasn't, uh, because I do make my comments on uh, whether it's good or not, as uh, I did on one restaurant that it was a little tough. But nothing was tough here. They had the grilled tomatoes on this platter. I didn't eat all the grilled tomatoes, but I did eat everything else. The, fried egg, uh, you get your egg order however you want. Uh, I did get the uh, old school biscuits and gravy. But they do have a lot of other menu items. They had a Reuben sandwich, they had a meatloaf platter, they had uh, so many different sandwiches and lunches and dinners and uh, all different types of breakfast uh, combinations from Belgium waffles to pancakes. It's a nice little diner. Uh, it is open 24-7 so Red Mug Diner, check it out. Uh, if you're looking for a place to eat here in Orlando, if you're a local and you don't ever heard about this place, they've been open about a year and a half. They are right downtown. Uh, there's going to be a link to their website and their Facebook here in the description. Be sure to come check, it out, check them out. I will be back to check them out again for probably lunch. Um, uh, it was very, very good and um, highly recommend this restaurant to anybody that's coming to Orlando. Uh, uh, Go check out our downtown area. We have a lot to offer in the way of uh, restaurants that you might not know is here, especially this one. This one I discovered and I'm very delighted that I did discover this restaurant. Um, so now remember to go out there. I'm going to see you later. Remember to go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it.